Greetings, WISE learners. Welcome to the WISE Spring Robotics Competition. I'm pretty sure you're very excited to show your building and coding skills today. Um, I'm going to walk you through all the missions that you will be coding for this particular competition. So let's get it started. Right. So each one of you is provided with a mat, a drive through base robot, and a spike box along with your device to code your robot to do or accomplish missions. Um, let's take a look at what those missions look like. So these are your mission models that you have been provided on the mat, the tower, the car, hoop, and the castle. So we'll start with the code for the, or the mission for the castle. The castle is placed on your mat out here your goal is, this is your launch area. Your robot takes off from here. It takes a turn and then it traces the shape of the star without touching the castle in placed in the yellow circle. Once you've accomplished this mission, you could come back to the launch area for the next mission or you could take off from the same place where you end. And next mission, and you don't have to go in the sequence as I'm describing, you could choose the sequence that makes more sense to you, is the car. So this is where, what your car looks like, it's right here. And this car needs to be parked. For you to park the car accurately, the car is placed in the yellow spot. You need to move the car in the orange rectangle. If you place it completely, you get more points. If you place it partially, your points are going to be adjusted as it's stated to you by your um, scorekeeper or by your um, leaders. Once you've accomplished this mission, again, you can come back or you can go on to the next mission. The next mission is bringing the castle home. Your castle is placed here. Your robot, I'm assuming here you're going from the launch position, goes to this location, grabs the castle, and brings the castle back home. The castle needs to be returned in the launch area for you to get full points. The last mission that you have is bringing up the hoop. So your hoop is placed on this circle right here, and this is what your hoop looks like. You need to build an attachment to bring the, pick up the hoop and bring the hoop back in your launch area. It requires both your um, active or your passive attachments. That's something that you can decide as a team which attach, attachment makes more sense, right? You all have a good time and may the force be with you. <laughs> 